And thinking back to that experiment that we talked about before with the multi-generational loss of, of fiber fermenting microbes in, in mice that were fed uh, a Western diet, um, it, it may be that uh, many of us in the industrialized world have a microbiome that's so depleted now that even if we consume a high fiber diet, at least for a short period of time, we don't have the right microbes in our gut to degrade that fiber. And, you know, within nine months, but certainly over the course of years, immigrants that come here lose um, a, a lot of the diversity in their gut microbiome, but a lot of the fiber degrading capacity in their gut microbiome too. So it could be that over time, this becomes a one-way street and it's hard for us to recover um, the, the microbes that, that actually can degrade the fiber. And I think that this probably intersects with sanitation in our environment and the fact that we don't have access to new microbes that might help us degrade the fiber that we actually um, you know, have lost these microbes and they're in some ways irrecoverable without deliberate reintroduction of fiber degrading microbes. Um, it, exposure to microbes uh, from the environment is likely an important part of um, educating our immune system and keeping the proper balance in our immune system. And it's just a matter of figuring out the right way to do that safely.